Hey there and welcome back to the channel. This is Mel's Gaming here with a Hunter Call of the Wild video. More talking about Hunter Call of the Wild than actually playing Hunter Call of the Wild. Even though I've just put this clip, these, well, an, a start clip and an end clip whilst I talk about what this video is actually going to be about. Now today the Hunter official released their annual survey and there were some very interesting questions in there about story and about multiplayer and and some features and reserves and just a lot of really interesting stuff which actually it kind of makes me really hopeful that there's gonna be some really cool stuff added which I have to say the devs do a really good really really good job of adding stuff to the game and keeping us with new content all the time and just interesting stuff in general but this particularly excites me because I see some stuff in there that I would be absolutely thrilled personally to see in the game. I know I have recently taken a bit of a break from Call of the Wild because of that possibly, well, more likely than not, I think at this stage, hacked multiplayer session and ending up with a couple of diamonds from that that I did not know were broken until looking at them afterwards and that was kind of a bit heartbreaking. So I've been playing a lot of the Hunter Classic, which is the same, same people. Um, it's just like the previous like version to Call of the Wild. So yeah, I've been playing that a lot instead of playing Call of the Wild itself. But I thought I'd just put a quick clip in of me doing a little bit of management on Te Arawara whilst I was introducing the video. Now one of the first questions is what is your favourite thing to do in the Hunter Call of the Wild? And right there is my favourite answer, seeking out rare animals. So that is my like... I love hunting rare animals, so that's really interesting for me. This is another interesting question. What features would you like to see added? More multiplayer, weapon customization, non-lethal takedowns? What's that about? Photographic mode, that excites me because I love game photography. If you know me, you know I love that. Animal and population management, I love the sound of that. And seasonal leaderboards, that sounds cool. As does trophy lodge customization. Oh, that's really exciting for me. All of those things, I, w I would have ticked all of them. They all sound really exciting. I'd like in-game hints about upcoming content. Yes. Many of you will probably know about the QR code that we found in-game, that everyone found in-game. I wasn't the first um, that gave us clues about Tay Aurora. That's, yeah, that kind of thing. Yes. More mission content. There has been a lot of talk about missions and whether people want to actually do the missions or whether we do them just because they're there. So really interesting to see them asking those questions because they are definitely listening. How interested are you seeing the Hunter Call of the Wild become an online only game? So that maybe we will have leaderboards and stuff like we do in Classic. So exciting. Would I be interested in purchasing a recreation of an existing reserve in a different season? Yes, yes, yes. New fur variations, yes. That sounds amazing. What equipment would I like to see added? Bait sites and feeders, that is a huge one. Tranquilizer gun, what? Camera with lenses and filters, that sounds awesome too. Horses, horses? We could get horses? I know a lot of people have been wanting trail cameras as well, so that would be really exciting for a lot of people. But horses and tranquilizer gun makes me very excited as to what they might be thinking about. What features do you think we could improve upon? Now, as I said, these devs do an amazing job of keeping the game updated and adding new stuff all the time. I would love to see more animal behaviour, like we see in Classic with the Rams fighting or Ibex fighting. That would be really cool. Multiplayer, yes, and focus on fixing existing bugs. Everybody that plays the game knows that there is sadly a few bugs that do crop up every now and again. The devs do work on them and that is, you know, that is really good. Again, more mission questions. I, I like playing missions. I think they're interesting, but they have to be actually interesting. Not to me, I don't like the ones where it's just go shoot this and then go shoot that. I like the do this because of this, you know, like in Te Awara with if you've not done the last mission, there's, you know, a whole 
the whole last mission, that kind of thing, that really ticks the box for me. And the whole mission arc I really liked. Because compare that to the latent missions where it's like, shoot a coyote at night or whatever. Like, those kind of things. Yeah, like, you hit, hunt an animal at night. I'm not so keen on that. I'd play side missions if they were available again. I wonder if they're thinking along the sort of lines of like the classic missions where you can reset and redo your missions because they give you money and XP. So that's a really interesting one. And I would like to play photography missions. Yes, 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 yes. I would like to play photography missions. It, yeah, I think that would be awesome. I think that these guys have created such a beautifully stunning game that... I think anything to do with photography being more important would be amazing. How important is multiplayer? Hugely. I think a lot of us that go and grind diamonds will be saying yes, it's very important because of doing things like, you know, we can go off and hunt and you never know what's around the corner and we get a lot of diamonds that way. How important is cooperative gameplay? Missions, equipment, vehicles? I don't find it that important. Because normally I'm just jumping onto random people's maps, so I don't know them. How important is competitive gameplay? Hugely. Competitions and leaderboards. Yes. This is something I said um, before that I'd love to see come over from Classic. So much yes. Would you be interested in purchasing a trophy lodge of a smaller scope? Yes. I actually would like a smaller trophy lodge. To have very special animals what like if you've got like a great one put that in the small lodge so it's really stand out which climates would you like to play in the future this excites me deserts savanna that sounds cool swamp could hunt like alligators that sounds so cool to me which locations would we like this these guys so many good questions like they're like all of them basically I'd like to play all of them. I love this game. I'd like to play all of them. I want to see what species they add and what they can do with it because I think, like I said, this team is brilliant and I think that they could do something really, really cool with any one of these options. It, that's my personal opinion. I'd love to hear what you guys think about that. Do I enjoy hunting smaller animals? Personally, yeah. I do. And I like that in Classic with like the ptarmigan and the pheasants. I think that they're like a really nice addition and all the duck species. I'd love a duck hunting map on Call of the Wild, like the bayou on Classic. I think that would be awesome. Is there a specific animal that we already have that we'd see like to see on a new reserve? Anything but moose and red deer. <laughs> I think a lot of people are gonna say whitetail for that one because obviously great one. Is there a specific animal that is currently not found in the game that you'd like in the game? I think a lot of people will say tar for New Zealand because it's such an iconic species and I would really like to see that there as well. How interested are we in seeing real life hunting brands featured in the Hunter Call of the Wild? This and the next couple of questions kind of go together and I think it's really interesting because I think a bit like other games they're possibly looking at bringing more real life brands, more real life people and stuff into the game to make it more realistic, which I'm totally in favour of. I love that stuff. Like, if you say you hunt in real life and you hunt with a specific brand, or you wear a specific camo, or whatever, you're probably going to then want to use it in the game, which I think would be a really cool option. So, yeah, definitely interested in seeing all of this stuff. I think it would be really, really cool. So, those were the questions that stood out the most to me. I am seriously impressed. Like I said, I think they've hit the nail on the head with a lot of those questions. And it really shows to me that they are listening to the community. Because I have seen a lot of people in the community wanting a quieter way to move around more quickly. And a lot of people have suggested horses would be ideal. I want to hunt on horseback in this game. Like, yes, that would be so cool to ride around on a horse. What if you could, like, if there was a stable option next to the outposts? How cool would that be? And you can have your horse like you have a dog in Classic and maybe train your horse so that it becomes less skittish or something like that. There's so many interesting mechanics that I can just think about being put in with that. 
and also the thing that they were talking about with kayaks. How useful would that be when we're hunting over these large bodies of water, say on like Leighton, and there's no crossings for such a long way? Yeah, I definitely, definitely, definitely want to see these things. And the bait sites and feeders really excites me because I have actually just been putting up uh, bait sites for goats and feral pigs on my classic maps and I'm really enjoying them. They are really fun and I like the whole way of, oh, you don't know what's going to come in. It increases the spawn of the animals around the area. And I just think that it's a really fun and it's a different way of hunting. So it's not just running around and you don't know what's going to be there. You know if you go to your bait site that that's there and you can manage the population. And that is something else that intrigues me. They were saying more about animal population and management. What did they mean specifically by that? Does that mean that we will actually see some kind of mechanic that may... Like, I can't see them doing if you leave it that it will grow because you could just leave your map open running and you can get tons of diamonds that way. Do you see, like, what I mean? Like, if you leave it running for days and days and days at a time, you're going to come back for a lot of diamonds. So that interests me. Maybe if we shoot out the smaller males and leave the bigger males technically to, in like, to breed, will we get better bucks, better stags? You know, that sort of thing could be really interesting. I'd love to see it as a mechanic. And... Um, the, also the bait sites and feeders, what if we could have food plots for deer to attract them into specific areas? I think that would be really cool because if we put up like high seats or anything like that, tripods, we could put out a food plot or a bait site and just sit over it with a bow because that's one of my favourite ways to hunt in classic is to sit in a, in a high seat, tree stand, whatever, and call in animals and just shoot them with a bow nice and silent and can rack up quite an impressive number of animals, which you'll have seen if you've uh, watched my golden tree stand spot on Timber Gold Trails for Mule Deer and Roosevelt Elk. Not Roosevelt Elk, Rocky Mountain Elk. I always get those two confused. I do, do really, really, really have high hopes for what they're going to do with all of these answers, and I really encourage you to go and fill it out. I will link it in the description. So yeah, thank you for watching.